is Prince Joshua Jain, Global Technical Developer from the GED. And today I'm going to speak to you about the non-gelatin soft capsules offering that Rocket has developed in-house and is now ready for customer usage. It's under the brand name LegGel. Rocket's new vegetarian solution for gelatin replacement in Nutra Supplement and Pharma Capsules. Thank you everyone for joining this webinar to unlock the nature's potential. Let's have a quick look at Rocket's Pharma Business Unit. The Pharma Business Unit is quite of some time in Rocket. It's been more than 40 years in pharma market. And we are the leaders, number one supplier of active ingredients like dextrose for dialysis and IV products globally. We are the number one supplier of mannitol and sorbitol as excipients in oral dosage forms and parenteral tax. We have more than 11 manufacturing locations spread it across all geographies. Along with that, we have R&D and customer technical support with the in-house laboratories located in France, Singapore, and Brazil. Our manufacturing sites are certified for EXIPACT. We also have ISO certification for most of our sites, and the sites comply to the CGMP regulations. On the quality management system fronts, we have ISO certifications, 21 CFR part certifications, and ICHQ7 are obliged. Along with that, we have some government regulatory registrations too like the FDA and ASNSM, which is the French Health Authority. A quick look at the pharma manufacturing locations. As mentioned to you, we have around about 11 manufacturing locations spread across all geographies. A few of them are specifically focused upon manufacturing the pharma products, considering the CGMP required and the special quality set requirement for pharma pharmaceutical manufacturings. Along with that, we have three locations where we have the laboratories set up to carry out uh, lab studies for our customers. They are one in Singapore, another one is in France, and then the lastly, we have another lab which is in Brazil. Let's have a quick look at our market segments and how do we position our products in each of these categories of the market segment. The first and foremost, biopharma. We have excipients which can be used in manufacturing of large molecules, injectables, and also in the culture and formulation segments. Injectable and dialysis, we have products which can be used in large volume parenterals, small volume Rx materials, and in dialysis preparations. Nutraceuticals and ODC, all the non-prescription drugs and pharma-like dosage forms are categorized under nutraceuticals and ODC market segment. On the oral sort of dosage form, we have a wide range of products to offer, which can be used in oral dosage, in the small molecules, and also in innovator and generic products. Let's have a quick look at our solutions. Now, when it comes to oral dosage forms, our high quality solutions are adapted to the most manufacturing technologies. We have customized solutions to meet the customer needs. Worlds, we are the world's leader supplier of mannitol and sorbitol. We have time-tested methods ensuring every ingredient is working exactly as it is supposed to do each time. On the nutraceutical and ODC front, we have products which are consumer appealing, easy to take, fast-acting ODC medicines, and nutraceutical supplements. We have a broad range of functional excipients to formulate all the dosage forms, including liquids, tablets, and capsules. Innovation is another category where we keep introducing new products so as to provide ingredient solutions to enhance dosage form design and health claim interesting sectors. On injectable dialysis and API front, we have the highest purity excipients and active pharmaceutical ingredients to ensure patient safety. We have a long-term commitment pyrogen-free products in our list. And each of these products are produced under conditions which are highly traceable and quality and compliance with our vertically integrated secure supply, supply chains. 
On the biopharma, we have a sole custody of the supply chain. So we are the highly integrated manufacturer and supplier of biopharma products. Products which meet or fetch the needs of upstream and downstream processes and final formulations with multicompendial requirements are available in our portfolio. The low endotoxin product offerings from biologic drug formulations makes it an exclusive uh, portfolio for biopharma offerings. Now let's look at the today's agenda, which is going to fit in for the today's topic, that is like a gel, a veggie soft capsule solution. Today we will start with an outlook on vegetarian soft gel market. Then we will discuss some limitations and key barriers to the adoption of non-gelatin soft capsules. Next, we will explain what is pea starch technology and discuss its advantages at of a new alternative for the manufacturing of veggie soft gels. Finally, we will revise some key considerations that need to be taken into account solely and swiftly for gelatin to vegetarian soft capsules. Before ending up, we will also have a short Q&A session where you, can also, where you can post your questions, which will be answered along with your comments. Let's have a quick look at the drivers for the vegetarian soft gel, caps, soft gels, and neutral and farmer requirement. So let me start by saying that the market for vegetarian soft gel is real. It has a compa compounded annual growth rate CAGR of 8%, leading to $650 million by 2025 for the producers of soft gel. This growth is aborted to the vegetarian trend, which represents 7% of US customers today and showed a 500% growth globally over the past five years. More and more consumers are demanding for plant-based natural supplements with clean labels like GMO, non-animal derived. Today, about 90% of the soft gels are manufactured using gelatin, but because of its boss, bovine or person origin, Consumers produce the consumption of animal derived products as those with cultural or religious relations are looking for alternatives like fish gelatin, like plant gelatin or plant based ingredients. Also, gelatin as a material for Also, gelatin as a material for soft gel shells possesses technological challenges with, first of all, cross-linking. In other words, it might react with some agents which are encapsulated into it, leading into delay in the release time of such actives during stability. Secondly, gelatin-based soft capsules are sensitive and heat to heat during production as well as during stability like we will see in some of the following slides. Finally, both the cross-linking and heat sensitivity are the options for certain film material, especially those requiring higher processing temperatures. Now let's have a look at the limitations of the existing vegetarian solutions. There are already some vegetarian alternatives to gelatin on the market. However, when talking with customers, we realize that some of these alternatives are associated with challenges like the need to buy special features in their equipments in addition to the standard soft capsule equipment, or even modify the equipment to some extent, for instances, the tumble dryer. The customers often report the requirement to use lower production speed and longer drying time in comparison with gelatin. The customers have also mentioned that capsule defects like leakages or stickiness are seen. The absence of starch ingredient, which complies with both food and pharma regulations, the limitations in capsule size and the type of film materials that can be used are a few other limitations. All the previous items, along with the concerns on longer disintegration or dissolution time and lower capsule shell life, 
are the key barriers to the adoption of non-gelatin technologies. Now, in response to all these challenges, what we have seen for gelatin-based system, Roquet has developed a solution. It's a novel HPP starch, that is hydroxypropyl B starch, combined with selected functional ingredients to provide a new alternative for vegetarian soft gels, that means nutraceutical supplements and pharmaceutical drug product needs. The solution is called as like a gel BS720, soft capsule solution. Now this solution has properties, or I would say, possible to produce strong films which are clear and shinier capsule shells. It meets the pharmacopoeial excipient grade requirement that is it is USP and EP compliant unlike other lot of materials available on the market which are just uh, complying the food reg regulations. We have demonstrated that the films that are produced are reproducible at higher scales under varying test conditions on varying equipments and also with different capsule size, shapes and films. It just requires a minimal rotary dye process equipment adaptation so as to compare the gelatin gel mass to what to the Leica gel. Now it is sure to have minimal leakers. It's also faster disintegrating time and extended shelf life. We have a complete data package ready for this, which can save a complete one year time frame of the R&D work that has to be done in the background to come to a final formulation or final composition to use the vegetarian soft gel formulation uh, product formula. Now let's have a look at what do we have to offer when it comes to Leica Gel VS720. So along with product, we also have services to offer. Now Leica Gel, we know, is hydroxypropyl P starch, which is combined with iodocarrogenin as a key functional component to produce films which are clear and shinier in nature. Now the product for trials, what we offer has Leica Gel, VS720, which is the film former. And along with that, we also have a premix, which is ready to use uh, shell mass, basically. So it has all the components included into this premix. Now, Rocket Neosol plus is used as a plasticizer in this premix. Iodocarrogenin is the gelling agent. And DSP, that is disodium phosphate precisely, is used as a setting agent. Now on the services front, we have done all the contract research basically, which has the agreement document, including the material which is required for pilot scale up and the technical data package with the detailed formulation equipment and processing know-how. And also we have the remote on-site technical scale up support if required by the customer. So this is a complete package, which will actually save a one year's time frame nearly near about one year's time frame of the customers when they are using our solution to produce the soft gel mass. The products for commercial scale are available, which is like a gel BS720 hydroxypropyl B starch, along with Neosorb, that is sorbitol components. The other components like carragonin can be choose for, are from the chosen suppliers. COA for food and pharma grades, both are available for all of these components. It's in, in the 25 kg packaging material and the pre mix is available as on date for all of our customers. And this can be used readily for preparation of their formulations. Now let's move on to the second topic in my agenda. That's the technical performance and the support we have to offer in this product category. Like a gel soft capsule solution is majorly a film forming component. It is based of hydroxypropyl P starch. Roquette has uniquely developed this excellent film forming starches, which has got a very thin boiling hydroxypropyl P starch, which gives excellent films. 
Now, it misses the gelling properties which are required to form the soft capsule shell. It cannot be used alone to produce the soft capsules. Since it has no gelling properties, it cannot be casted on the drugs. Plus, it has a very weak sealing properties on the rotary dial. So to overcome so to overcome all the problems that are encountered or seen when Lyca gel is used all alone, we need to add a gel forming component to the, to the solution. And carragonin is one such gel forming agent which has been added into our premix solution. Now we know carragonin is a carbohydrate isolate material isolated from marine microalgae. It provides excellent gel forming properties. It is, however, temperature dependent and it needs cations, especially the sodium ions, uh, for gelification process. The combination of the starch and iodocarinin can substitute gelatin. Here is a quick look on the glycogel based cell formulation composition. Now, as I mentioned, starch in combination with carrageenan can replace gelatin um, as a shell mass because it has got all the properties which are required to form a soft gel shell. Now, when we look at the composition, the first and foremost ingredient is like a gel BS 720, which is used as a film former. In our uh, standard solution, we give like a gel BS 720 in combination with sorbitol P300C with the brand name existing in our portfolio as Neosoft P300C. However, in our premix, the Lyca gel VS720 is combined with the gelling agent iodocaracanin. Along with it, the plasticizer Neo P, Neosoft P300C is mixed in a fixed concentration. Plus, the setting agent is also added into it. All you have to do from your side is add glycerol, which will act as a plasticizer, and water, as a processing agent. All the premix data is available to support your R&D trials and save time. Now let's look at the benefits of P-Starch as a new soft capsule shell technology. We have developed our P-Starch technology for rotary dye encapsulation process as this is the most commonly used for the manufacture of soft jets. In this process, two films are casted on cooling drums. They are further brought together and the active is fill is injected into it at the wedge station into the dye pocket. Our Lyca gel system for soft capsule shell is based on hydroxylated pea starch with excellent film forming properties. It is combined with caracanin, a carbohydrate isolated from marine microalgae, which needs cations for gelification. The sodium cations are provided by disodium phosphate, and then, same as gelatin, plasticizers are added to adjust the capsule elasticity hardness. Here, what we use is glycerol and sorbitol. All these ingredients are processed using water with the excess that must be removed during subsequent drying steps. After the advantages, it is important to understand that there are some considerations to keep in mind when switching from gelatin to vegetarian soft gels. The combination starch carrageenan requires higher processing temperatures than gelatin, especially during gel preparation up to film casting steps. This can typically be done in standard gel mixers. As far as the injection step, the temperature is also slightly higher. Since P starch system supports higher temperatures, it offers new option for the use of active film materials that requires higher temperature to flow. Well, let's dive into the technical aspects of the use of starch based system in the production of soft capsule. For a proper gel hydration, it is recommended to prepare it during at least two hours. A short maturation time of up to four hours is optional. In comparison with gelatin, you would need eight to 12 hours of maturation for an optimal film and capsule performance. 
Now, if you remember the challenges reported to lower production speed, you can see here that we successfully tested up to maximum encapsulation speed, same as in gelatin on a production equipment. With regards to the drying time, indeed, we start with more water in the product and there is a need for one or two additional days versus gelatin. But we can use the standard tumble dryer with no modification in the first drying step. All in all, the production time from gel preparation to end of drying is comparable between pea starch and gelatin soft gels. On this slide, we have I've reflected the study that was performed on two films using optical microscopy. Basically, we applied Lugol stain on pea starch film that came come from a film cast, just casted or cut from a capsule. This film is observed using normal light on an optical microscope at, at 144 magnification. Figure one on the tape left shows a film with a lot of starch debris indicating an incomplete cooking and hydration of the pea starch. Whereas figure two on the bottom left shows a film with minimal presence of debris. For this second film, the preparation procedure has been well conducted. The film from figure one is heterogeneous and could lead to increased defect rates during the film casting and capsule sealing process. A homogeneous distribution of shell capsules and their proper hydration is needed to guarantee further film and capsule performance. It is not mandatory, but the use of powder premix could further improve the dispersion of starch plus carrageenan and other ingredients for an optimal gel preparation. In addition to be more effective with regards to material inventory management, dispensing and quality control release operations. Let's take a look at some capsule performance study results. For this first case study, we have tested the capsule shell integrity and physical attributes. To do so, we have manufactured pea starch based capsules with a film thickness around 700 micrometer. The capsules were filled with mineral oil and packaged in basic aluminum and PVC blisters and as a worst case protection against yeast and moisture. Then we have compared capsule properties right after production, that is after drying and after six months under two ICH stability conditions. The table shows that the capsules were clear, transparent, with minimal defects after production, and they kept this appearance after six months at 25 degrees Celsius and 60% relative humidity. Indeed, there is a small change in other physical properties between time zero and six months at this condition, but this is expected for on any soft capsules upon aging. Mainly, you can see that the disintegration time and water content remain low. As far as more drastic conditions, that is 40 degrees Celsius, again, 75% RH conditions are seen, you see that the change is more important, especially for the water content. But this is explained by no moisture protective effect of such packaging material. The second case study is using the same ICH stability conditions, but we are now comparing the physical attributes of pea starch based versus gelatin soft capsules packaged in the same basic aluminum PVC blisters, as well as more protective glass bottles. With regards to the capsule hardness or burst strength, the graph shows that the both gelatin and starch based capsule hardness dropped after three months in blisters. The drop was more important at 40 degrees and we could barely measure the hardness of gelatin soft gels after carefully taking them out of the blister. As far as the stability in bottles goes in, both gelatin and pea starch capsules showed a hardening at 25 degrees. And at 40 degrees, it was not just possible to remove or measure the hardness of gelatin capsules because they were deformed and sticking to each other in the bottle. The study continues and here we compare the disintegration time of the same capsules filled with mineral oil in water at 37 degrees Celsius. Gelatin soft gel displayed a disintegration time of less than five minutes at all conditions when 
the disintegration time for starch-based capsules was not more than 10 minutes. This time has decreased at 40 degrees Celsius for starch-based capsules in blisters. And again, we could not measure the parameter for gelatin soft gels at 40 degrees Celsius in bottles for the same reason as explained previously. This last slide on the same case study shows the protective influence of the packaging material against the moisture uptake of the capsules. Clearly, both pea starch and gelatin-based capsules had an increase in water content during the stability. This increase was more significant in blisters than in bottles and at 40 degrees compared in comparison to that at 20 degree, 25 degrees Celsius. Another case study is comparing the pea starch and gelatin soft capsules resistance to heat and moisture. Capsules were filled with fish oil and packaged in basic aluminum PVC blisters. Just with visual inspection, we can easily see the difference in color and shape, as well as the integrity for starch-based soft capsules on the left and gelatin soft capsules on the right side. Actually, like a gel soft capsules kept their shape and showed minimal changes in color even after six months at 25 degrees Celsius and 40 degrees Celsius. Whereas gelatin capsules were deformed and had a different color upon aging at different time conditions. We can further see on this slide how gelatin soft gels did not support the 40 degrees Celsius and 75% relative humidity conditions, both in blisters and in bottles. Indeed, the capsule changed its shape and color in blisters and they were all stuck in the bottle. It was actually necessary for us to gently break the bottle with a hammer to extract the capsule shells out of this bottle. Now, there are many such more studies which are performed in our R&D lab, and we have the extensive R&D experience and database ready to share with our customers. We have converted all of this experience and database into a comprehensive guidance document, which we call as the technical data package sheet. As mentioned to you, when it comes to services offering, we also offer the technical data package to our customers. And this data package is going outlines the problems that are faced when manufacturing the capsules and of gelatin, as well as uh, starch based, and what should be done to counterfeit these problems. The first and foremost, we discuss in details about the materials, the formulation details and aspects, along with the raw material source and its functionality. The, the second part of it discusses more about the methodology that has been that is supposed to be used while manufacturing the soft gel capsules. Equipments and the process details are listed into it, along with how the gel mass has to be prepared, how the capsule shells have to be casted on the die plus the encapsulation and drying steps should be followed. There is another part to the entire data package. We have the analytical data aspects, wherein the gel mass specifications like the bloom strength, et cetera, are listed down here. Along with it, the soft capsule performance specifications and results are also given. And finally, there, there is material specification shape, which has been jotted down in the appendix. With this data package, for sure, you uh, will be able to formulate shiny and clear capsules as shown in the figure at the bottom corner here. Now, all of this lab, all of the studies have been performed at a subcontractor, but now we have the support that has been extended from our CTS laboratory located in France to become a center of excellence for the soft capsule development. It's because we procured recently a machinery which can be used for soft gelatin capsule fabrication. Here, what we do is we support our customers to develop the proof of concepts physically. We also help them to develop formulations and do the process optimization. Like a gel biopsy software te technologies and innovations can be done on these machines. We support all the kind of innovation and products of products for gel replacing the gelatin soft capsules. Example, usage of the plasticizer, use of any other gelling material, etc.
Now with this entire know-how on the Vegisoft capsule solution, primarily called as like a gel and rocket, let's have a look at the next action steps. So depending on your need, we can tailor our product and service offerings. So in case if your firm is knowledgeable, has complete knowledge of handling the soft gelatin capsules, also has knowledge about starch-based formulations and processes, and they just want to optimize their to your own film needs, we recommend the U sampling of Lycogel VS 720 component with mixed together with uh, Sorbitol or Premix and just consider a data package. If your firm is not knowledgeable or do not have adequate knowledge to handle starch-based soft gel cap capsules, then we recommend that you take advantage of Rocket's contract research services offerings with technical package and evaluate either components or preferentially just use the premix and gain greater access to the technical support, saving your efforts, time and money. All of this is done under a non-disclosure and a confidentiality agreement, which we suggest would be a good next step in any case if you're looking forward to develop formulations with like a gel and already set to use the glycogen material, unlocking the nature's potential. And with this, I would now like to conclude my presentation. And here are a few key takeaways of this entire talk. So in conclusion, in conclusion, we can say to build a successful formulation on a foundation of unique pre-starch technology, Rocket has got a product to offer and it's called as the Lycogel. So Lycogel veggies of capsule solution can be processed on any standard gelatin equipment. A few adjustments needs to be made just for the adjust gel mass viscosity and a bit on the temperature scales. Advantaged faster conversion of Lycogel to fit in your R&D requirements just develop a holistic R&D approach and the Lycogel formulations are ready. Lycogel formulation system is ready to use. We support our customers with the complete technical data packages and services. Lycogel performance data supports are reliable, these scalable and capsule performance potential to meet the customer's appealing appearance. The capsules that are formed are strong enough with a better seal integrity and have a clear and shiny appearance. It is a more versatile solutions so as to fit in all the type of premix or component products. Plus it is food and pharma uh, approved material with meeting the standards required for food as well as the pharmaceutical industry. And with this, I conclude my presentation. Thank you for your patient listening. And at the outset, I thank all the Rocket personnel and all our customers in building up and getting up this solution to overcome the challenges from gelatin. There's a lot of effort put behind developing this solution. So thanks to all of those who have been contributing directly or indirectly in developing our product like a gel. Thank you for your patient listening. Okay, so I was answering this question, which is uh, which is like, how is the material different from gelatin as a gelling agent? So my answer to this question is like, gelatin is a very different uh, gelling agent, at, uh, I would say. So 90% of the formulations that are available on shelf today has gelatin as the gelling agent in the you know soft gelatin capsules. It's because of its properties. It has got this unique gelling property. However, when you see uh, like a gel, like a gel by itself, uh, like a gel BS 720, I, I'm talking about, by itself, it doesn't have gelling properties. And that's the reason we have to include a gelatin agent like Karaganin. And iota caraganin is one such agent which enables to impart the gelling property to this uh, like a gel solution. However, our premix is comprising the iota caraganin in the right concentration to enable to form good thin sheets or gel sheets 
on the uh, die cast, you know, or on the equipments. Also, if you see for gelatin, there are often problems seen uh, with the sticking part or you see leakages. Plus, uh, as somebody had questioned here, if you see on the film material part, you cannot use uh, readily gelatin material for semi-solid preparations or paste-like materials or materials which has a very high solubilizer content. However, with this lycogel solution, all of these problems are taken care of. It's got a very good sealing property. The integrity of the soft gel capsules is maintained. And also the stickiness is so good that leakages problems are not seen with this material. So this was about the uh, properties of the product per se. So on the film part and on the fill part, this is my answer. Along with this, also there is a second part to it is on the equipments. So if you look at the equipment setting, the standard equipments are... Uh, I would say designed to handle gelatin as a gelatin mass as a gelic agent. We have never worked on uh, vegetarian soft gelatin capsules. Now, but with Lyca gel as a solution that is offered today in the market, we can work with the same equipment setting. It's just that there is a minor setting change required. So, example, maybe you will have to heat the equipment or keep it uh, at uh, a higher temperature. So say 85 degrees Celsius to keep the molten mass in the gelling state all throughout the process. So this can be done by using jacketed uh, uh, tubings or jacketed water vessels where the water at a higher temperature is circulated along the entire equipment to maintain the temperature of 85 degrees Celsius. So this is basically the major change between the two. And uh, I think yes, rest is rest remains the same. But one point here is gelatin comparison with like a gel is not the right way because it's not an apple to apple comparison. We are talking about two different products with two different sources. One is completely animal derived, a porcelain and bovine derived, whereas uh, our solution is a vegetable source or vegetarian source uh, material. So these are the major differences between gelatin as a chilling material and a uh, rocket solution that is like a gel. There is one question. Yeah, is it, it says, is it possible to send us the slide? Uh, yes, it can be sent it. You will, you can reach us, uh, reach us out or you can reach the presenters of uh, CPHI platform. They have all the slide decks ready. And I think it is there for circulation for almost one week's time until this uh, entire session is going to last. So this presentation is going to be available to all of you and you just have to do registration on the platform uh, to access our presentation is there any other question i think i've answered most of the questions which i see in the chat box Okay, I keep the platform open for say another few seconds for anyone to answer or to put in their questions. Okay, since I see no questions from uh, the attendees here, I would uh, just put a closing remark. I would like to thank everyone uh, who has attended this seminar, this webinar rather. Uh, it takes indeed a lot of time to attend. So really thanks to all those who have taken out time from their busy schedule and attended this webinar. I hope it would be useful in your developments in your R&D field. And if there are any, any questions or if there are anything you would like to go on up for, for any joint development, we are most welcoming all our customers. At the same time, I would like to thank all the uh, collaborators or uh, I would say the CPHI team members who have been helping us out in uploading this webinar and uh, helping us in collaboration with on the CPHI flat platform. I also thank all my Rocket colleagues and friends and uh, the team members who have helped me out in putting up this presentation together and also who has done up in developing this solution and bringing it to the market to of answer customer needs. 
So thank you all. Thank you all. For